All right, hey people, Russ James, it's about 8 p.m. on the 20th day of January, 2019, Salt Lake City, Utah. So we left off yesterday talking a little bit about the, uh, the Pareto ratio, the uh, participation inequality percentages, and trying to understand how that might can, uh, affect us in the way that we go about building our business. Now, if 20% of our activities produce 80% of our results, we need to figure out what 20% is really doing that. I think for most people in the network marketing industry and carrot bars, I'll just stick with that, we're working on developing organization. We're working on inviting people to take a look at the information, looking for new business partners and customers. So if we can take into account the inequality participation ratios or percentages of 90% of people are not going to work with us, period. No matter what you do, there's nothing you can do or say to them at this moment in time that's going to convince them to join with you. And we've got the 9% and the 1%, but let's worry about the 90% right now for just a second. It becomes very important for you to establish a operating procedure, a way of going about how you're presenting or asking and prospecting, sharing information with people. So we've talked a little bit about the questions that we can be asking, developing the relationship, asking the questions, if I could, would you, getting people to look at the information. So let's say they've agreed to take a look at our information. Next thing we have to do is in the follow-up, which is still part of that whole inviting and sharing with the prospects, we have to decide then how many opportunities and how much time we're going to devote to that person through that process and, and create a decision-making tree, as it were. So, and that becomes something that's very subjective to each person individually based on your personality, your time availability, your objections, I mean your objectives. Um, kind of where you're at in your whole business. But it's important to sit down and think about that, what you're going to do. Create the rules that you're going to operate by. Let's say, for example, that you decide that, hey, I'll give somebody three opportunities to tell me they're going to watch the video and give them three opportunities to watch that. So they'll say yes, and I'll follow up with them. They didn't watch it for whatever reason. I'll give them a second opportunity, follow up with whatever reason, and then give them a third opportunity and at that point, then we have to determine how we're going to move from that. Because continuing to follow them up then becomes, it's uh, not healthy for the relationship and it's not beneficial. It's not productive for us at all. In fact, it becomes very counterproductive for you because you become frustrated, discouraged. Ups it's, it's very uh, bothersome to have somebody continue to tell you you're going to do something and they don't. So... We have to then determine how we're going to handle that. Do we just write them off, never talk to them ever again? No. Professionals and the very successful people in this business then create a tickle file. So basically you move that prospect now off onto a waiting list or a list that you work for through next month or 60 days from now, whatever you decide you have to be doing. And also part of that decision-making process needs to be the reactions that you were getting in that interaction with them, how they were acting and responding. You've got to keep your notes on people, what you're doing. And so that becomes very important for us to decide how much time we're going to devote to a particular prospect and then establish the rules and then live by it. It makes it so much easier. And then remember, participation inequality. 90% are not going to do anything with you. If we keep that in mind, then it becomes a matter of, hey, that's just st uh, probabilities. That is st statistically proven that 90% of people, so it's not me that they're rejecting. It's not the opportunity that they're rejecting. It's just the fact that they're in that 90 percentile that just is not going to participate today. To so take all the pressure off of you and take the pressure off of carrot bars. It's not carrot bars. It's not you. It's not the information you're giving, not how you're presenting it, not what you're saying. It's just it's a fact of reality.
And if 20% of our efforts produce 80% of our results, makes sense that we develop, we figure out what that 20% of activities are because it's not a time factor. It's an activity factor. 20% of our activities produce 80% of our results, not 20% of our time. But since we're in the people business, we're a team building business, obviously we have to be prospecting and we have to be looking for people to bring into our organization to share our information with, share the message with. So that's where the time efficiency comes into play of how much time I'm going to devote to this particular prospect to give them an opportunity. I've done my job. I went out, I got the name, I made the contact, created a relationship, asked the question, if I could, would you? Got a commitment from them to watch the information and understanding that there's only one person that you can control the activities of, and that's you. Cannot control the activities of another person, no matter how much we might think that we can. So once you've done those steps, then it's a matter you have to step back and let the other party respond in whatever way that they're going to respond. They're watching it. They're not watching it. They said they were going to watch it, but they didn't watch it. So number one, establish a protocol that you operate by every single day when you're in this particular uh, mindset or frame of mind or uh, activity mode of how long you're going to and how much energy and time you're going to devote to prospects in order to uh, de make the determination of whether or not they're going to participate with you at this particular time or not. So that's the very first thing that we, well, one of the key elements that you have to begin developing is a protocol that you operate by, a set of rules. Since we don't have a company that we're working for, because we're all our own CEOs, we own our own uh, organizations, we're in charge of our time, the resources, how we're doing things, what we're doing, when we're doing, who we're doing it with. Successful people plan. So that becomes part of your plan. You're planning your activities, you're going to plan the rules, and then you live by it. You give them three opportunities, you move them off to the list you're going to get back to in 90 days. Move on to the next person, so you're not wasting energy because what? i got to get through 90% of those people to find my 10. Now that 10, I'm going to find somebody that's really going to gel with me and really going to help us. And then that's where you start building your core team, which we can talk about. We'll talk about more. But right now, initially... Prospecting, inviting people to take a look at your information, you've got to develop a protocol that you operate by with that particular step, which says, once I've done my job, I've gotten them the information, how am I going to respond to whatever their responses might be? So today we've talked about the fact you gave them three opportunities. They didn't, for whatever reasons, it didn't resonate with them. We put them off to the 90-day list. Now, if somebody says, oh, I'm not interested, can we still put them on the 90-day list? You bet, because circumstances change for people. So, that's my conversation for today. Keep in mind, 20% of your activities produce 80% of your results. Right now, the activity that we're primarily focused on is prospecting, finding people, and then inviting those people. So, once we've done that, we have to then develop our rule that we operate by, in order to determine how long we're going to work with that person, and then it's time to move on to the next prospect because we have to remember we have the participation inequality percentages of 90% of people just aren't going to do anything with you, period, no matter what you do. So don't waste your time and energy on them. Go find your nine, and out of that nine, you're going to find your one, or maybe it's you find your ten, you got nine and one, but whatever that number is. Understanding, people, don't waste your time. Set up rules, protocols, procedure, and then take the activities consistently according to the plan that you've established for yourself, whether it's every day, every other day, 
whatever that activity level is that you have determined is appropriate for you, put in writing, put in a action. Okay, love everybody. I'll come back and talk to you uh, 